Hello and welcome to this video. This is part three of my Roman tub construction project video. Um, it's taken me two plus maybe three months of working to get it where it is. I still don't have the plumbing all the way done. Um, and uh, But the tub art part itself is. So anyway, uh, if you are, didn't see the other two uh, videos, I'll try to link them below and then um, if you did and you're watching this one thanks thanks for uh, keeping on seeing how the project turns out um, also um, in last week's video I put links in the description for my friend's YouTube channel and his twitch and I'm gonna do that again on this video so please uh, just check it out and see if you like his videos or if you like his um, Twitch video game chatting, Twitch, 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 Twitch channel. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So after installing the cement board and sealing the, joining the corners, I need to waterproof it. I saw online some specifications for a Roman tub that was made more like a swimming pool, I think, and it used um, tar paper in between two layers of mortar and sand, I, uh, like a mortar sand mix, I think. Anyway, um, this is a really cool product because it's water soluble for the cleanup. It goes on pink and dries red, so you know when it's dry, and it um, makes a a hard but somewhat flexible um, waterproof layer barrier which is awesome and it also helps uh, prevent cracking or stabilize cracks so I use it to seal around the overflow drain and around where the actual drain is gonna be um, and I needed to test to see if their drain would fit it didn't quite fit because um, some of the uh, fiberglass or something that's in the cement board was kind of overhanging and got coated with the red guard. So I cleaned that out and then I got it to fit. So I installed it with, I made a mistake and installed it with the hard rubber gasket that it came with. <laughs> Do you hear the water leaking? <laughs> it, it, it leaked, obviously. And um, I should have thought of that because those hard rubber gaskets are meant for like a smooth acrylic or fiberglass tub. Um, so instead I used this um, plumber's putty, plumber's dope, something like that. Um, and liberally uh, but strategically applied that around the flange and then uh, kind of pressed it into place and then attached the rest of the drain from the bottom. This is kind of a satisfying clip of it being the ex excess being peeled away. Uh, so um, once this was installed I well actually this is what the what I have set up temporarily to catch water when I um, empty the water out of the drain. So I pour some water in and find out that it doesn't leak. So that was a very good win. Um, this drain I'm using isn't like my favorite, but um, I like the kind that you have in like a normal tub, but I couldn't use a normal overflow, which is how you close the drain in like a normal tub. So anyway, um, no no leaking which is good and uh, so next is tiling and here I made some uh, like cardboard slash cereal box um, representation of each tile so I could uh, go through and plan more easily plan out where the tiles would go and more easily template the tiles that needed to be cut so here's a good example there's the template and then there's the tile. 
Um, and it saves a lot of time because it's so much easier and quicker to make a template out of that card stock, cardboard, or whatever, than it is in the actual tile. And then I just take that template out, cut it in the garage where I had good protection and stuff, and then come in and install it. So, um, this whole project of tiling was um, fairly challenging. I mean, it's only the second second tiling job I've ever done. Uh, and overall, there's just a lot of big areas where the tiles can just be laid normally. But there's a lot of detail, like the corners and the spec sheet that I was talking about earlier. Uh, that told you how to make the a Roman tub kind of a, a more traditional way, I guess. It said to not have any interior 90 degree angles so that it'd be easier to keep clean. So I tried to make mine 45s. So that just made a lot of extra fitting. This here is how I decided to template the bottom edge of the insides so that inside has a slope of a quarter inch per foot and um, I didn't want to make individual templates for each piece so I uh, counted out all the tiles I would need lined them all up measured how tall it needed to be on one side and how short it, short it needed to be on the other side and attached a ruler and stretched, I mean, <laughs> drew the line. It, it worked out good and it was so much faster than doing it individually. So here's the spot where I was cutting the tiles. I have ear protection, eye protection, uh, a mask, and um, it worked out pretty good. Uh, yeah, so here's more progress of installing the tiles. And then what's left is like the little corners and um, the front face. It almost was like a mosaic process uh, and it, it all actually, in my opinion, kind of turned out par for my kind of projects where, considering I never did, have never done anything like this before, it turned out pretty good, but there's just when you look at the details, you can tell it wasn't made by a professional. Um, uh, obviously, the, the tiles aren't like lined up and evenly spaced. And a friend said, be sure and buy spacers. And I thought about that, doing that, but I decided not to because it's a little easier for me to just try to eyeball it and make it close enough, then try to make it perfect. In any case, here's the grout work. Um, it turned out grouting these tiles in the inside corners and stuff was more work than I expected. It was like, um, my previous project was like 12 inch tiles and there's just way less grout lines in, in such a big tile. So, um, these are what the corners look like, and you can see the just the little, just the subtle details that show it, what isn't like a professional job. But personally, I think it looks all right, and it will work. Is the main thing. Thanks a lot for watching. It was an interesting project to <clears throat> work on. Um, I had fun, uh, especially at the beginning. Towards the end, I felt kind of like a rush to get it done. So anytime that happens, it's, it's not quite as fun. Um, but I'm glad it's done, and I think it'll be fun to use. Uh, and I'm glad, I think I'll be glad that I, that I did it, like as the years go on and stuff. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, leave a comment if you have a question, and um, if you see this future, if you see this video like way into the past, put your comment 
like maybe comment on my most recent video because sometimes when people comment on my older videos, uh, YouTube doesn't always alert me. And if you, I like to respond to people's comments. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, bye.